Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Ben Seong from Learn Australian Strength Performance or Learn ASP. Today's topic is about the rear delt. So we will be delving into understanding why these particular muscles, these fibers, these rear fibers on your deltoids are so important, not just in allowing your delts to look three-dimensional, but also in its function. Most of the time when we perform any sort of delt movements, we tend to neglect the rear delt portion of the movement because we jerk and our form is often incorrect. So today, I will be running through three main exercises that will really help to focus on those rear delts, helping you develop them and helping you to add strength to your deltoids. If you're used to using a rope for a face pull, I suggest you try a band. Now, the first exercise I'm gonna talk about is a banded face pull. I'm using a band not in the sense of using a band to change the strength curve of the exercise, but typically using a band as an implement. That means literally the bands are used as my handles as I pull it towards my face. Now, why do I choose a band? First and foremost, the band has a particular recoil, allowing myself uh, and being very conscious of the fact that as I pull it towards myself, it doesn't allow me to move the weights too fast because then the weights will bounce. Now, when I start to move the weights at a slower pace, this really helps me to isolate and fire my rear delts a lot better than if I'm moving a heavy weight fast because then I would tend to overactivate uh, my mid traps and my upper traps and that defeats the purpose of this being a rear delt focus activity. The second reason why I like the use of a band is because a band is typically longer. So you can see in a, in a rope that most gyms would have, they're shorter. A band really allows me to increase the range of movement of this pull, allowing me to target yet again my rear delt fibers as I pull my hands and extend it past my back. Okay, so a very effective tool to use. The other way you can use a band is using it in an isolated movement. Now you see me here as I attach two bands, two single bands to a pulley instead of the one band. I will be doing a reverse fly just using the bands itself. Same sort of concept because the band gives me a very effective uh, recoil to give me feedback on how fast I'm actually pulling it. This really helps me to isolate my rear delts, but in doing so, this is an isolated activity. That means uh, essentially I'm, I'm really focusing on my rear delts without using my biceps like a face pull actually does. So this again is a good variation of a reverse fly using bands from a cable. Guys, just before we continue, I'd love to share a really exciting piece of news with you guys, and that is we are relaunching the learn-asp Dot com site. Now this site is going to be revamped with new seminars added onto it, new features allowing you guys to access the best information regarding health and fitness, bringing that to your fingertips. Make sure you log onto this site, but also check out the deals that we have available for you once the site is being launched. So stay tuned. Okay, now it's time to get back to today's video. The second exercise that I'm gonna talk about is one where you probably haven't heard of but may have seen in the gym. Now this is called a guillotine row. So I'm using a seated row and I'm using a long bar. Typically you find this on a lat pull down. And I'll use this bar with a wide grip, hands pronated, and watch me as I pull this bar towards my neck, very much like a guillotine, like it's trying to chop your neck off. The, the angle of the pull is specific to firing my rear delt. So I really want to lift my elbows high and pull it in line with um, my body, making a, a T. If you can Im imagine my arms going out to the side and my back straight, it's like a T. And as I pull it back, I really want to fire my rear delt muscles. Now in this particular exercise, because of its trajectory, I will not be able to lift a heavy weight. So the load is actually kept relatively light. However, I'm focusing on the movement and the speed of it. And you see as my elbows really flare out, this doesn't allow me, gives me a really poor leverage to lift a heavy load. Hence, I can really focus on my rear delts rather than activating the bigger muscles to help me lift the load. So another great exercise for rear delt activation. The last activity down here is a, an activity where I'm starting off just with a dowel rod. You can see me put a couple of one kilo plates at the end. Now you can see as well that if I'm starting off with an exercise that requires such light weight, that the exercise is not gonna be an easy one. So this exercise is called a collar to collar row. So it's a bent over row, but I'm using the bench, in this case, a 
uh, back extension as a feedback for my positioning of my body. So my head is there, not to rest on my neck, but just as a positioning to keep my body parallel to the floor. And I perform a roll using the dowel rod as well as the light weights at the end. Again, the movement here is where you see my elbows flat right out to my sides. I'm forming a T. As you can see, my body and my arms are perpendicular to each other. As I drive my elbows towards the ceiling, again, I'm firing my rear delt in this particular exercise. So the goal here is not to lift a heavy load that I'm jerking. The goal here is to keep strict form. And by putting my head uh, on the bench itself, this really prevents me from jerking because I can't lift my neck, I can't jerk. Uh, it allows me to keep strict form as I perform this particular activity. If you are stronger and this load is too light, you can progress it uh, to a barbell. And this is here when you see me perform a barbell collar to collar roll. And this is supported collar to collar roll. So you can use a barbell to perform it. And of course, if you are stronger, you can add some weight onto the barbell to make the exercise more difficult. So there are multiple levels of uh, progression for this exercise itself. Rear delt exercises are not made to be movements where you are lifting extremely heavy loads uh, at a very fast pace so much so that your form is poor. It is maintained that your form needs to be pristine as you're performing these exercises in order to target the rear delts itself. Once again, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hope that you've taken away these amazing tips to add it to your rear delt training arsenal. Now we'll see you in our next video.